Hi, I'm Victoria, and today I'm going to be telling you about three different states of matter. The first phase is what we're going to be talking about is a solid. An example of a solid could be ice. So here's a cup of ice right here. And if we end up zooming in on all the different particles, we'll end up looking like this. Since ice is a solid, the particles will be closer together and moving quite slow, so they won't be bouncing off each other, which is why ice tends to be so cold and it's frozen, which means that it is still and it doesn't move around. It can't change its shape. As the ice begins to melt, it turns into a liquid or water. Now, here's a cup of water. And if you zoom in on this, this is what the particles will look like. Water is a liquid, which means that it is able to move around. The reason why it is able to spill and move around is because the particles are farther apart and they move faster. So they're able to bounce off one another, which creates water, which makes water able to be, which makes water able to be spilled. Now we will be talking about gas. Now we have a pot of water. So when, when there is a pot of water and is being heated up, here's the fire. So the water is being heated up. So that would cause the water to evaporate. So then it would turn into gas. So here's all the gas. And then if you would put a lid on this pot of water, then it would create condensation. There would be a bunch of little particles of, of evaporated water on the lid. So it would look, end up looking like this. So there would be particles of water on the lid. And then the water would begin to evaporate more and more, so there would be less and less water until there ends up being no water at all. So far we've gone from a solid to a liquid, from a liquid to a gas. Now we'll go back from a gas to a liquid. So when we were talking about condensation earlier, that is when the gas turns back into a liquid. So here's our pot again, and then the water's all evaporating. So there's these little water par particles all over the lid until it's completely covered. So that will be the gas turning back into a liquid. Now we're going to go from a liquid, which is the condensation, back to a solid. So here we are with, back with our cup of water. So water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. So if you want to freeze the water back into a solid, you need to cool the water down by putting it into the freezer. So you would put that into the freezer for a little bit until it reaches 32 degrees. So once again, when you have this liquid state, the particles are really far together, they aren't close, and they're moving faster than solid but slower than a gas. So they're able to bounce off of each other and move around and spill. So here are all the particles. So these particles can move around and bounce off of each other. So say you erase on the particles. So pretty much what this particle just did is it moved. That's why water is once again able to pour and move around and that's why it's liquid. So they move off of each other and they bounce, which causes it to pour. Or it also causes it when the water's warmer and the particles are moving faster and bouncing off one each other. Which, if you put a thermometer in the water, it creates, it makes the particles rise, the hot water. So they're bouncing off each other, so they rise up into the thermometer which makes the thermometer rise in temperature. That's how you know what temperature the thermometer is at. We are now back to little cubes of ice. 
since the water has been in the freezer until it has reached 32 degrees Celsius, sorry, 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So now that this water is frozen, this is what the particles look like. So here are the particles. So as you can see, they're closer together. So that means that they can move less. They're also slower. So here are the particles of ice. They're all closer together and they're moving slower, which means that the ice is not able to change form or shape. And like water, it's not able to be poured. And like gas, it's not able to rise. It stays put and it stays in its shape. Thanks for watching.